Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 4 Let's Play where last time we finished off with a couple of big upgrades that weren't very big, they're only an hour long, but they're done and voila! Welcome to the new Town Hall 4 base! I just built it, it took me literally like two minutes. Um, big donut base, I put the defenses and storages in the middle and then kind of like the garbage trash stuff on the outside and that's it. That is what I built. So um, you know what, let's just go ahead and request for a CC. And I have some big things to do today in this episode of our Tunnel 4 Let's Play. It's still the first day, okay? I want that to be very clear that today, this video, is all of the day one priorities. I did the other um, uh, upgrades in the last video simply because I had the time and I wanted to knock out the small upgrades. So now, what I have is, let me see here, yeah, so this barracks, this is the new barracks, unlocking the wall, rec wall breakers, or it would actually speed up the training time, not necessarily unlock them, and that's a four hour upgrade, so something to consider. There's also the gold mine, and that's the new gold mine, it's level four, and it will be a one hour upgrade if we upgrade it again. So that'll be something to, uh, to consider as well. In fact, you know what, let's go ahead and do a couple of one hour upgrades. Okay, I'm gonna do this, 3,000 Elixir just to start off the video right in 3, 2, 1, BAM! And 3, 2, 1, BAM! There we go, so that's the gold mine and the Elixir Collector. Now I'm really curious about if there's anything else that's that cheap. 45 minutes! That'll work! Alright, cool. Well, before I do that though, um, I kind of want to burn some Elixir. I should have been doing that off camera, uh, but I absolutely 100% forgot. Also, um, I have some achievements, some builder based things. So I unlocked the Sneaky Archer for 10 gems and also destroyed 5 builder halls. Uh, so I get uh, 10 more gems after that, which is pretty sweet. So ways to burn Elixir, uh, uh, get rid of obstacles and stuff. And also... Um, well, that's really the only way. Uh, other than that, upgrades, right? And what else is a very high priority upgrade? The thing that I haven't done, that I'm amazed I haven't done yet, is the laboratory. I've got a two hour upgrade there, 50,000 elixir. We also got the clan castle. Those are probably the two most important upgrades, plus things like the army camps, huge, huge priorities as well. So uh, guys, I think that I, um, okay, well, okay, first, let me, let me regroup my thoughts here for a second because we have this massive star bonus coming our way. This is when you upgrade the town hall. It's so great. The benefits are literally amazing. And so what I, I need to do is basically I need to spend all of my gold first. So I'm going to go and collect all that. And let's go ahead and upgrade the walls around the town hall. Okay. This is going to prevent any barbarians from getting there and probably giants as well. So there we go. We got a pretty powerful inner core. Now, uh, is that good? Yeah, we, we, we don't have to collect the rest of that. Good. Okay, and should I or can I burn any elixir? I mean, you know, I guess I could go ahead and upgrade this laboratory now. Yeah, no. Okay, so loot's not really the problem. <laughs> I never have a problem with loot. I would rather get the little short upgrades done early. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. 5,000 gold, 45 minute upgrade in 3, 2, 1, bam. There we go. And now, let's go fill up our gold storage again. And that's going to be easy because, frankly, uh, like I said, loot's not hard because of the loot bonus, the star bonus. So, let's go smack a couple of bases. Watching out for those stinking CC blue. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> 140,000 elixir? That would max out my storage in one go. I mean, I, I couldn't accept any of it right now, but dang. All right, well, we... We can't take that one on, but but we would love to, right? Wouldn't we love to? Uh, all right, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna find some bases that I can actually three star. Okay, that's gonna be my goal. Just whatever base I can three star. Clearly not one with a wizard tower, so we're gonna ignore that. And oh wow, wow, dudes, I might max out my gold storage. With one raid. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. I have an idea. First of all, uh, let's send in a giant. No CC troops. Excellent. Excellent. Can I maybe... Ah, okay, yeah. So I can't, like, sneak in and steal any of the loot. So let's just send in the giant again. Barbarians and archers. Okay. Wall breakers. I just want to distract a little bit. I want to make sure that I get all the gold out of both of these uh, gold mines. I don't care about the elixir collectors, and honestly, <laughs> given the type of uh, loot that's in this base, I don't even care if I two-star or one-star. I don't care. I just, 
the loot's insane. I gotta, I gotta try it out. All right, so now, uh, let me think here. Oh wow, there's a lot of collect. No wonder why I can't take this base on. It's like a Town Hall 5 or 6. No wonder why I'm losing so bad. All right, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just totally bombard this base, all the collectors and mines, and see what we can do. All right, looks like we're doing pretty well. Look at my storage. Just watch my storage. Don't worry about the fact that I'm barely destroying any of the base. Just look at my storage. It was climbing so fast. That was insane. This loot, this loot in this base is nuts. I love it. All right, so as soon as the Archer Tower takes out my Archer, I'm obviously not going to win the raid. I've got 12%, but I don't care. 94,000 or 89,000 gold. I got 94,000 total. That, my friends, is a cray cray, and I like it. That was awesome. All right, so I, I did lose some uh, trophies. That's never a good thing, uh, but it's okay. All right, so barbarians, get down there. Archers. All right, we're set up for the next raid. Now let's go get some stars, okay? Uh, I'm gonna attack a, ooh, another one. This would be a little bit easier too. I'm wondering if there's actually gonna be a CC. No CC, ha <laughs> ha! All right, guys, the game, the jig is up. The jig is up, let's go. Barbarians, get in there. Archers, wall breakers. All right, everybody's in. The wall breakers did get us in onto that mortar. And almost broke it through in a whole nother section. Do not kill my archers, you stupid mortar. All right, so, oh, ooh, this was a mistake. Dude, they literally have all of their defenses in the same compartment. That is terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Because now, I mean, I've got free reign to them all. This is terrible. All right, so uh, as soon as the town hall goes down, ooh, but, oh, my barbarians in the middle just went down. That is not good. Town hall will go down. But I'm not sure if we're going to build a three-star just because so many of my barbarians went around the outside. That is crazy. All right. Well, uh, there's still lots of gold and it's mostly in these storages. So I think that we're going to do a pretty good job of maxing out our storage. You're getting close. So that's good. And we got the two-star, which means we'll get the star bonus. So everything that we needed to get done in our two raids, we're going to get done. Even though the last raid didn't do very well in stars. It doesn't matter. The loot was really what was important. So... Uh, yeah, so we're not going to three-star at all, but we are going to get that two-star. Good job, archers. Good job. Get, 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 it, get, it, get it done. Also, my raids will get significantly more powerful as soon as that laboratory is done upgrading. Haven't even started it yet, <laughs> but next episode, we're going to be able to enjoy the, uh, the power potion effect from upgrading our town hall. All right, so 58% two-star. Sorry, Barbarian. You did good, though. You did real well. Good try. And 35,000, so that gets me at 130,000 total gold. I'm pretty much good to go, but this, that is why I came to film today. That right there. That is the the, the hero of this entire storyline right there. 440,000 gold and elixir. And that's a big part of why I wanted to grow trophies. Because if the higher up your trophy league, the more loot you get. So that is amazing. If you check out the uh, the treasury now, you'll notice I've nearly gotten max elixir. <laughs> 700,000. Crazy. It's absolutely nuts. All right, so I'm going to start the the next army and or cook next army. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I guess oh wow, no, not that many. <laughs> 25. 25. I keep overshooting it or undershooting it. There we go. All right, so we're good to go. I'm going to wait the 52, 53 minutes and we're going to get the big monstrous upgrades done, okay? Today is the big day. I know last episode was the premiere, but today is the big day. So I'll be right back once the upgrades are done. All right, guys, about three seconds to the last Elixir Collector is done. And there we go. All right, so I've got my three builders back and I've got lots of uh, lots of gold, actually, I need to spend and loads of loot in my treasury and five stars until I get another star bonus. I got all the loot, man. So you know what? Let's just burn all the witches okay let's just throw it all down let's put the uh the wall in there upgrade that's a hundred thousand gold there it goes and can i maybe spend a little bit more i don't know if i really need to thank you random star for the baby dragon by the way um all right so you know what let's go do a raid or two i've got the i got the army so why the heck not also remember i have been saying i've been focusing mostly on bases that i can actually get stars on so let's just attack this one it does not have very many defenses so let's do this all right giants ooh uh hmm okay yeah giants barbarians archers wall breakers and if all else fails 
Baby dragon from the CC. All right, so, uh, ooh, look at the wall breakers. Get, trigger those traps, babies. Let's go. Or, or never mind. They're gonna run all the way across the base. Do it again. Yeah, look at these guys. These guys are nuts. Look at that. They're going across the whole map and distracting stuff and, and everything. That was crazy. That was, that was literally the most entertaining wall breaker fest I've ever seen in my life. All right, so that's going to be a three star for sure. Um, and what that'll do is get us closer to the five star bonus once again. Probably will end up maxing my walls today, actually. If I look at it, if I think about it, that's crazy because this is still technically day one of Town Hall 4. And I'm already going to be done with walls. But again, the five star bonus is just totally OP, totally broken. It's meant to help you advance quickly. And that's what we're going to do with it. So, uh, Klein Castle goes down, there's nothing on the left-hand side, so this will be a pure and simple three-star without question. About a minute and a half, maybe a little bit less than that. Not too bad. Alright, very good. Now let's go do it again. I wasn't worried about the loot. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to collect my treasury. Or some of my treasury. Let's upgrade some more walls. And then collect more treasury. And then upgrade some more walls. And then, guess what? I'm going to collect my treasury, and I'm going to upgrade some more walls. <laughs> and then I've only got a couple more. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, dude. That was crazy. I just finished my walls. Look, look, look. Watch this. Three, two, one. Bam. Oh, there's no walls left on the list. Oh, wait. There's three more. Where are they at? Oh, they're right here. Duh. All right, let's finish those up. There you go. Max walls in one day. That feels good, man. That feels really good. All right, let's go do another raid. Let's get two stars. Let's get that star bonus. And then I don't even know what else after that. Uh, ooh, nope, not that one. <laughs> not that base. That one was a rough one. Um, this is actually a relatively rough base, too. Actually, you know, I bet we could do it. All right. Uh, oh, there's a CC. Dang it. Okay. Uh, Warner buildings? No. All right, I got to use Baby Dragon versus Baby Dragon action right now. There you go. Good job, baby dragon. Good job. Alright, so now that we've taken it down, let's put these guys in. Barbarians, archers, wall breakers. Break them walls, babies. Break them walls. Nice. Look at these guys. They're gonna be entertaining again. No? They're just gonna run up to the next wall that's closest, like a logical like a logical being. Nice. All right, yeah, we definitely get a two-star. We actually definitely get a three-star. That baby dragon ensures it. So there you go, guys. Uh, two three-stars once again. Just getting crazy amounts of loot. That star bonus is just so helpful. And um, we also need to now make some major upgrades. I just finished my walls. I can't believe I already finished my walls. Tunnel 4 might fly by quicker than Tunnel 2 and 3 did. Oh, man. This is... <laughs> this is good, man. This is really good. All right, thank you. And bam. Oh, baby. I think I've got Max Elixir. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. So first things first, um, if I were to say I'm going to go to sleep now and play again tomorrow, I want to do the longer time upgrade. So things like the Clan Castle, eight hours. Let's go ahead and do that. It gives me a plus five troop capacity, uh, hit points increases, which protects your treasury better. And again, it's eight hour upgrades. Let's do this in three, two, one, bam. Okay, and then clearly my laboratory is a top priority, although it's not a, an eight hour or like a six or eight or 10 hour upgrade. It's it's still a good one uh, because of the effects that it will bring. So 50,000 elixir in three, two, one, bam. And then lastly, the, I don't know, should I do an army camp or maybe a barracks? Balloons are very strong. I mean, not, not at first. You gotta upgrade them two or three times for them to get strong, but they're helpful. In fact, I don't generally see balloons get used until like Town Hall 5 or 6, and sometimes not even until Town Hall 7 with dragons. So they're not like a super high priority to unlock at the early game. So I may want to wait on that. Uh, I think an army camp honestly would be the better option. So let me go ahead and collect all that. Oh, look, at it. I got an achievement. Another achievement. Collect 800,000 gold from the treasury, 25 gems. I will take 25 gems. How many gems do I actually have to have for the next builder? I keep forgetting. A thousand. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's uh, upgrade this army camp. Plus five troop capacity, five hour upgrade. And that will do it. And again, I've already upgraded my wall. So there's no way for me to... Uh, <laughs> there's no way for me to, to burn gold at all. 
This is such a bizarre place to be this early in Town Hall 4. All right, one, 100,000 elixir, five hour upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Okay. I've got all the loot that I need. I just need the time, right? That's been the ongoing theme of these new Town Hall levels. But um, yeah, so we're good. So tomorrow, whenever I decide to film again, um, it, my lab and everything else will be done. I'll be able to upgrade something like the barbarians or something in the laboratory. And we may work on maybe like the other army camp and other priorities would be storages and potentially other barracks and things. But I feel like we are, I don't know. I feel like we're rocking along at light speed. That's just the way I feel. That was definitely a, uh, a productive time, right? So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 4 Let's Play. That's definitely what you want to do if you're playing on day one of your Town Hall 4. Like this video if you liked it and, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and join the hashtag Klaus family. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos or if you guys just want to know when videos go live every single day. And lastly, don't forget to use creator code to support your favorite content creator if you choose to support me then thank you so much it's a huge blessing to me and my family use code klaus the link is in the description to input that code automatically or uh you can input it manually in the settings just make sure it's active remember it expires every seven days so come into your shop double click that little c or just click the c and it'll show you whether or not it is still active if it isn't use the link or input the code manually don't forget that it works in every single supercell game as well so if you play any of those definitely use a creator code specifically mine if you get no one else to choose or if you prefer to support me <laughs> guys remember that i love each and every one of you i'm so stoked to the progress we made today and i cannot wait to see what we get done next time